In the fifteenth year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip ruler of the region of whatever those words are, and was ruler of Abilene during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas. Why does Luke go to the trouble of listing out all of these people? What's the point? Besides making people stumble over those big words. To identify the exact time that this happened. But this is a list. That's, that's right, Kurt. Thank you. <laughs> that's exactly why Luke does this. It's to give you an exact point in time when this happened. Now, is it an exact point in time? No, because these rules lasted for so long and there was overlapping. So you could probably narrow it down to a few years. But you had an idea of when this happened. Because it's dated in history by this list of important people that most of us go, who are these people? But in Luke's day, when he lists out this, these names, this is name dropping. He's dropping a list of names of important people that everybody would have known who they were. And these would be the people that we would expect. They would be the ones to bring about the message that God is going to bring peace to the world. The big people, the celebrities, right? All the people with power and the people with prestige and the people that we think can go out and do the things that are going to be able to do something to change the world. But then if you continue the reading, it says, During this period in time, the word of the Lord came to John, son of Zechariah. Where? In the wilderness. And what is the wilderness? What do you think of when you think of wilderness? When you hear the word wilderness, you think of trees, right? It's where all the people who've been missing for the past three weeks were. <laughs> right? We're out in the wilderness. We're out in the trees. But is that what it is? And I want you to go home later today and go to Google. Google um, wilderness Israel. And see what you come up with. Or Jord Jordan wilderness you're going to get pictures. There's actually some really cool pictures on Google of the, of the wilderness in Jordan. And do you know what it is? It's desert. It's desert. It's deserted spot. That's what the word actually means in Greek, is that he went out to where nobody else would go. And is that how the word of the Lord is going to come? With some nobody from nobody out in the middle of nowhere where nobody is saying that the reign of God is going to come? Is that how it's going to happen? There's a point to this lesson this morning, though. And it's a point that each and every one of us has to take to heart. Because when Luke lists out these names, Tiberius, Pontius Pilate, Herod, Philip, Annas and Caiaphas. He's giving us a date. But then the next name is the most important. The word of God came to John. Who in this list of people is a nobody. Or, to put it in a different way, John in this list of people is just like each and every one of us. Somebody that has gifts and talents to go out into the world and do things, but each and every one of us probably thinks that God isn't possibly going to bring about the kingdom of God through me. Is he? And the answer to that question is, I hear it a little bit over here. The answer to the question is, Yes. yes. God is going to work through you to bring about the kingdom of God. He's not going to use the celebrities. Well, he is going to use the celebrities. He's going to use everybody that allows him to work in and through their lives. And that's the point here. 
You are one who is making paths straight in the wilderness, the voice of one lonely person crying out in a world that so desperately needs to hear this message about God coming and breaking in, the dawn from on high that breaks upon us, the person who created you, loving you and working through you to reclaim all of the creation that he has made. That's what this lesson is about. And if we did this in a little bit different way, in the 15th year of the 21st century, when Barack Obama was President of the United States, and Scott Walker was Governor of the State of Wisconsin, and Elmer Ragan was the Chairman of the Board of Little Schwamico. <coughs> Elizabeth Eaton was the Bishop of the ELCA. The Word of God came to St. John's in Little Schwamico. And he sent the saints out into the wilderness to proclaim that a reign of love and peace has come and that we are to be heralds of this message and to show forth his love into the world. That, my friends, is what this lesson is about today. It's about all this junk and crap happening out there in the world, all of these bad things that are happening in the empires that aren't doing anything about it. But yet our one single little voice can be one of hope. Our one single little voice can be one of love. Our one single little voice can be one that actually changes the world because it's not our voice, but it's the voice of God speaking in and through us. So allow Him to shout through you that love that needs to be shown to this world so that all might come to know the great and wonderfulness of our Creator. So what will they say in years to come happened in the 15th year of the 21st century from the saints at St. John? What will they say? Go and give the message that God has given to each and every one of us to give to the world.